So hey, it's Jordan, Engine Literature Dude, and I wanted to check in for a brief moment and share a quick book haul with all of you. I haven't done it in a while, and it's not much. Like I said, it, it really is very small. It's two books. But uh, I went to my favorite local used bookstore recently, Cottonwood Books, uh, near LSU and Baton Rouge. And I love going there because I almost always find something interesting. It has a pretty large used uh, book stock that changes pretty frequently. Uh, I imagine because it's it's near LSU and, and uh, it has access to a lot of kind of unusual, sometimes very rare vintage books. Uh, but I like their uh, sci-fi and fantasy collection and uh, I've made a few good pickups in terms of uh, foreign language books and textbooks and uh, collections of poetry and things like that. So. The first one that uh, I picked up that caught my eye here the other day was a small but pretty nice little edition of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Uh, of course, I've read the poem, I'm familiar with it, I I've got it in digital form, and I believe I even have a kind of a, uh, a worksheet edition of it that we used when uh, I studied the poem for a Chaucer class in college. Uh, but of course, for me, it's nice to have something like this in an actual book form that I can refer to, I can have on the shelf, uh, because I, I love the poem very much. It, it's one of the more fascinating pieces of Middle English poetry for me. I love the Arthurian stuff, and The Green Knight in particular uh, is an example of one of these sort of mysterious, strange, supernatural forces in Middle English literature that I find really compelling. And so the other book I picked up was a little bit more unusual and certainly newer to me. Uh, it's a small collection of some of the poetry of Eugene Field uh, with trumpet and drum, uh, a collection of mostly uh, sort of children's verses, uh, which he was apparently pretty well known for. And Field is a figure that I would not have even become aware of if it hadn't been for my friend Cozy over at uh, Cozy Comfortable Poetry uh, here on YouTube. She's done a number of really nice readings of his work and uh, sort of clued me into how uh, unique and interesting he is as a poet. And uh, I, I read one of his poems for uh, Christmas last year uh, that, you know, as I said, I would not have even been aware of if it hadn't been for her. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I think his, his work is pretty unique, and he's probably uh, pretty underrated from what I can tell. And I really like this uh, particular edition. It's very old. It seems to have been printed in 1899. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the binding is falling apart. Uh, the, the whole book is, is not in the best shape, but I like it. It has a lot of character. And another thing that I thought was neat that I noticed is that it actually has uh, a personalized dedication Someone obviously presented this book to, I'm assuming, uh, some kid at some point in history, and it even has uh, the name written in the the uh, illustration on the title page, which I think is kind of neat. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, so anyway, uh, like I said, it's not the kind of thing that I normally see, and it's one of the reasons that I like Cottonwood books so much. You can find sort of interesting stuff like this uh, there pretty often. And uh, it, it was only five bucks, uh, which I thought was nice. Uh, there was a more complete uh, edition of uh, Field's works there, but it, it came as a set. And unfortunately, it was 10 or 12 volumes, very antique as well, uh, but in very nice shape. And it was a bit pricier, and I, I couldn't afford it at the time. But uh, I picked this one up, and I look forward to checking it out and hopefully reading some of it on the channel at some point. But in any event, that's uh, pretty much it. Just wanted to share those two small books with you. And uh, let me know if you are uh, interested in Sir Gawain or the works of Eugene Field, uh, if it's something that appeals to you. And uh, otherwise, just hope that you're doing well and taking care as usual. And I will talk to you later.